Charlie Munger, the famous investor and chairman of Warren Buffett's company Berkshire Hathaway, has said that the first $100,000 is the hardest part of building up wealth. Once you reach $100,000, the rest becomes a lot easier. This is because when you start from zero, you have to do all the work on your own. You either have to try and earn lots of money from taking on lots of work, or else you have to save like crazy or both. But once you have some money, you can buy assets that will earn you money just from owning them. You can think of it like if you had a business. You would hire people to help you work and your business would grow faster because now there's more people working on growing this business. But instead, you can just use your money to buy assets. And these assets will increase in value while also collect money for you at the same time. And so as a result, your wealth begins to grow much quicker. Once you accumulate the first $100,000, your net worth will start to increase much more rapidly. And before you know it, you're at 200,000 and it snowballs from here. The two most common investments people make to accumulate wealth are property and investments in the stock market. The reason index funds and property are the most common is that they're just generally the easiest ways to make money. There isn't really any skill involved. All you need is cash. To make money in the stock market, if you just buy into an S&P 500 index fund and hold for at least 10 years, you're almost guaranteed to make profit. Of course, past performance doesn't guarantee future performance, but it's still viewed as one of the best investments by many big investors, like Warren Buffett, due to its ease of investing and low fees and large returns, which we'll discuss later on in this video. You could use this $100,000 to buy a two-bed house, provided you're willing to live in a more rural area. With this house, you could rent out one room for a couple of hundred a month, and you would live rent-free in the other room. At the same time, the house would be increasing in value. House prices in some parts of Ireland have increased 134% since 2013. So if you bought a house for $100,000 in 2013, that means since 2013, your asset has increased by $134,000 in just nine years, just from owning it. Sure, a house does require some upkeep and you have to manage the tenants and all that goes along with this. But the level of work required for a house, provided you've bought a house in turnkey condition, is far less than trying to earn $100,000 through working and saving aggressively. Plus, now you're making money from your career, plus the rent money that you get each month. So you should be able to manage the upkeep of the house with all this income. I don't know if this is something that is common for everyone, but for me, I've definitely had parents, uncles, aunts, etc. People older than me say something along the lines of if I was your age again I would definitely invest in property maybe this is just an Irish thing I don't know but I think it's genuinely true that a lot of people do look back and think this especially since the population keeps growing and land is just a finite resource not to say it's a sure thing it's definitely not guaranteed by any means renting out a home doesn't have to be evil you can do it in a way where everyone benefits if someone needs a place to live and you charge them a reasonable amount of rent and the house is in a good standard and you take good care of it you take the risk of taking out a mortgage to buy a house in return for taking this risk, you make a small profit each month, while the people you rent out your home to get a nice place to live with affordable rent. This way everyone wins. But of course, renting is not completely passive income. This is the big advantage of buying into the stock market over property. Investing in index funds requires essentially no effort, apart from remembering to buy them at the end of each month. If you invest $10,000 into an S&P 500 index fund, where the average annual return is 8% per year, you would earn $800 a year, which is a nice amount of money for no effort. But if you were to invest $100,000, you would earn $8,000 per year, an amount you could almost live on, or at the very least cover your rent for the year. But if you leave this $100,000 in for two years, you'll earn $8,000 in year one. In year two, you'll earn $8,640. And after just nine years, you'll have earned your initial investment of $100,000 with essentially no effort. When you think of the effort it takes to save $100,000 in cash, you can really see why people say the first $100,000 is the hardest, because it really does get just so much easier to earn money once you have money. Of course, any investment investment comes with risk and you should never invest anything you cannot do without. Only invest what you can afford to lose is a good rule of thumb. If you just save your money and never try to increase its value through investing in good solid investments, your money will just lose value through inflation. Every year your money becomes less and less valuable. So in order to build wealth, you have to be increasing how much money you have. Otherwise, you're actually reducing your net worth. For some people, it's just not fun to invest. They don't want to take the risks that come along with trying to invest their money. They want to keep it all in the bank where it's insured by the bank and the government if the bank runs into a liquidity issue, which is fine. Not everyone needs to be worried about making money all the time. I think it's just a fun challenge for some people where you're constantly trying to spend less and earn more by taking on more work and investing. It also just allows you the freedom that if you lose your job, you can afford all your bills for the next six months without any concern. If you don't plan for your future, you will be worried about your finances at some point in the future. If you decide to start thinking and planning around your money, then you won't have to think about money as much in the future. It just depends on the person. Neither is right or wrong. Life isn't all about money. Money just allows you the freedom to do more of the things that you enjoy and say no to the things that you don't enjoy. The most important thing is to enjoy life. 